another video with Melissa. Today I am going to be showing you probably the nerdiest thing I own. And you probably think I'm lying about this, but once you see it, you're going to be like, yeah, she's pretty damn nerdy, I think. So, <laughs> this is, might be slightly too embarrassing for even me to admit, but I thought it might make a cool nostalgic unboxing. We'll see. Um, I'm going to show you. Um, oh, it's so embarrassing. This is my X-Files scrapbook. And you're thinking, what? <laughs> Between, I think it was season four um, to season seven of the X Files, I made a scrapbook of all the like articles about the X Files, everything to do with the X Files, because I was obsessed with the X Files. This is me as a teenager, guys. Um, including this amazing cover that I laminated with scotch tape. I was a creative kid. Unfortunately, it's fallen off because it was never meant to stay on there forever. This is a Mead notebook back in the 90s guys it was awesome um yeah so this book is mostly full there's probably like uh, there might be about 20 some pages at the end there aren't full but this is full guys and look at look at that lovely wear and tear we have from all the glue that I've stuck on these pages it was not meant to be a scrapbook this is what you do when you put lime paper um, and glue paper to it it eventually does this so, we're going to have a look through and see what Teenage Melissa was interested in. I'm going to see if I can remember any of the references in here because the last time I looked at this was probably about five years ago when I moved. It's been that long, guys. Let's have a look and see what I was like as a teenager. I kind of know already. <laughs> um, I don't think I any, was any nerdier than I am now. I probably am more nerdy now because I'm more accepting of it. But I was pretty nerdy. So, first of all, I'll just hold up the cover because that's easier than holding the whole book. We have the X-Files movie logo, Mulder and Scully. We have the description of who Fox Mulder and Dana Scully are. Beautiful. Didn't even bother covering that up. No. And we have quotes for the pilot. There will be. And there's even trivia. <laughs> there's even trivia, guys. <laughs> because I made this and my best friend um, used to look at it and she might be watching this now and be like, Oh my god, I remember this. We have a quote from the pilot, Scully, the answers are there, you just have to know where to look for them, Mulder. That's why they, they put the I in FBI. <laughs> uh, true or false, when Scully notices Mark on her back, identical to the ones found on the dead girl, Mulder assures her that they were mosquito bites. True, of course. <laughs> oh god, that, this, is, this is what you have to look forward to if you're going to continue to watch this video. Don't worry, it's going to get better, guys. It, it has to get more embarrassing than that. Uh, the first thing's not doing very well because it's probably had the most damage. Um, but we've got... I have lots of things from TV Guide because I used to have TV Guide and cut everything out of it. So we've got an article about the X-Files movie coming out on June 19th, apparently. I think it was 1997, I'm pretty sure. So this would have been 1997, guys. So we've got the Cigarette Smoking Man, Mulder and Scully. I'm not going to read you the whole article because we'll be here all day. So I'm mostly going to show you the pictures and my own special commentary I put on things <laughs> as a teenager. So, I, I was just trying to put all the episode titles. So we started with Pilot. You know that? Then we had Deep Throat. But that was the second episode. Um, we have an X-Files movie poster. It looks like it was ripped out of TV Guide. Dare to take a closer look. The X-Files. If you've only seen it once, you haven't seen it all. Own oh, the truth on video. On video. <laughs> I owned it on DVD and video and uh, pretty much any follower I get. I think I saw the movie in theaters was it three or four times. I think I saw it four times. I want to say four. So get a quote again. Get a quote again. Let's see. Scully Mulder, did you see their eyes? If I were that stone Mulder, oh, if you were that stoned, what? <laughs> I wanted the relationship between Mulder and Scully. I was totally a, um, a Mulder Scully shipper. Oh my goodness, we have like even trivia. What did Colonel Butanis sprinkle on his food at the dinner party? I have no idea. Apparently it was fish flakes. Wow. Okay. Um, so we've got a little review of the X-Files movie. On the other side, we're talking about Squeeze. We've got X-Files card collection. I just put the whole thing on there. As you, I've seen, I think I've shown you guys the card collection already. And Top Ted Rentals. 
at this this present time. I think this was 1997. City of Angels was the top rental, guys. City of Angels. Mercury Rising, which I don't even remember. A Perfect Murder. Wild Things. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Lost in Space with um, Joey from Friends, I believe. The X-Files is number six. I can tell because I put a box around it. Primary Colors, Hope Floats, The Wedding Singer, and The Spanish Prisoner, which I do not remember. Um, I remember very few of those movies. I do have City of Angels. It is a horrible movie, guys, and no one should watch it. Horrible movie. Okay. So, I'm not going to read every single thing because I, I would be here all day if I read them all, but we have another squeeze bit here. People Weekly. Um, also, the other thing you should know is I used to go to the library because guess what? Printing at my library when I was a teenager was completely free. And you know what I did with that printing? Not schoolwork. I went and printed off every article I could find about the X-Files and posted it into this book. So there's there's an article I probably got from the library. Printing was free there. <laughs> you have to. Okay. Now we're on to some more here. Um, we're on to episode four. And now we're showing Taya Leone and David. So Taya and David at the Emmy Awards. Beautiful. As ever, the divorce now. Sad for that. Uh, David Duchovny picture, number seven. I don't know what he was number seven for. Um, David Duchovny is fam, fam's middle man. I don't know what that means. Lead actor in a drama series. Ooh. Um, who should win? Uh, Andre Brahinger for Homicide Life in the Street. Um, oh, or David Duchovny, or Anthony Edwards, who will win? Jimmy Smits, NY NYPD Blue. Yeah, so, he should have won. Um, apparently David Duchovny said, Everybody expected me to devote my education to the study of literature, what I did for a little while. That shocked everyone when I started acting. Cool. Got a really horrible picture of David here. It's really bad. He makes whole hearts smolder, because he's molder. Uh, student sues innocent internet firm for fake signatures, apparently. Wow, cool. Who did he sue? Uh, truly unique collectibles, apparently. They probably don't exist. Because they got sued, they weren't truly unique. Uh, another photo from the internet, stole season. X-Files, five years of lies, deception, conspiracy have all led up to tonight. This is awesome. So we have Fox Mulder's apartment layout. <laughs> um, so we've got Mulder's computer. Where's Mulder's computer? Right here. Mulder's computer. Uh, the window where Mulder posts the marking tape, masking tape for X's next to the computer, of course. Because where else would it be? Oh, I'm trying not to tear out a page here. Um, and shines a blue light bulb to initiate communication with his mysterious contacts. Uh, Mulder's fish tank during Endgame. You know something missing. There's no fish in Mulder's fish tank. Mulder, why? Why would you bother? Why would you bother with having a fish tank if you don't have any fish in it? Uh, Mulder's apartment door is number 42. I did remember that. Though we've never seen it, we assume he does not have a bathroom. He does have a bathroom. We don't know. Could be anywhere. Um, we've only seen, like, this part of it. Um, though we never see it, we assume he does have a bathroom and Colony Mulder's kitchen is clearly visible from the living room, which puts it roughly in the hallway, so the kitchen would be here. This is not, uh, this is before we see Mulder's bedroom and Dreamland, I'm assuming. So yeah, Mulder's house. Um, let's see. Next page. Madam X. So this is, we had a section for Mulder, now we got Scully. Um, so these came out of magazines. Um, the Mighty. Does anybody remember Jillian Anderson and the Mighty? I barely remember Jillian Anderson and the Mighty, and I loved her then. Anderson Stallers from the left. Karen Culkin. Wow. And Meatloaf. Meatloaf is in the movie with Jillian Anderson. Um, she married Clyde Klox on a Hawaiian golf resort. By a Buddhist priest. I think they divorced. I think she divorced a couple times. Nice picture of Dilly Anderson here. She looks very pretty. Um, <clears throat> there was a time we were just dying to branch out and play a different character. Truth is, in this interview with X Files star Dilly Anderson, believe it or not, I just have the word Dana. <laughs> it's actually better than I thought it was. 
And we have blue alien Scully. <laughs> and we have Scully's apartment. Oh my goodness, we can know about Scully's apartment as well. Boulder did end up in Scully's bed once. Though the circumstances weren't that romantic, viewers thought they'd wished for. Scully gave Toombs the opportunity to admire her antique tub when she she handcuffed him to it and squeeze. So her bedroom, bathroom. Uh, the Ambrose Chapel made himself pretty cozy here in Colony. Was, I can't see number nine. Okay, Dwayne Barry seems to have a problem with doors. He came through the window in Dwayne Barry. I'm guessing it's that one. Yeah. Yeah, it says that um, her utility panel says 402, which is usually on the fourth floor, but Dwayne Barry broke into a first floor window of her apartment, so that's confusing. Uh, this is one of my favorite pictures of Jillian. I love this dress. It's so pretty. Um, we have Jillian and Byers getting Jillian with it. <laughs> so the 90s. Lead actress in a drama series. Who will and should wi win? Oh. Was she even on this list? Uh, Jillian Anderson should and will win. Let's hope. I don't think she did. Um, we've got information about her education. She actually attended elementary school in um, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And graduated in 1986. Um, and then she went to New York and, and Great Britain. So cool. Okay, this is just an article, so that's not too interesting. But we have some cool little pictures here. Aww, aren't they cute? Get spooky with the creators of the X-Files movie. That's not. <laughs> Let's see. Ugh, hard to turn these pages, guys. They're so old. Okay, we have lots of pictures of Mulder and Scully, the Jersey Devil. A few of the favorite pictures of our favorite couple. Woo! We've got Mulder and Scully and the Simpsons. Eeriest guest appearance, appearance apparently. Uh, lots of black and white ones. Scully doing an autopsy. Their first meeting. Cool. Get out there and vote. This Thanksgiving, FX is starting up X Files Secret Ballot Marathon. Yay! I love those. 12 straight hours of X Files' most chilling episodes. You help pick the 12 episodes that air on Thanksgiving Day. I used to do this every year with my best friend. It was so cool. Um, yeah, it was cool. Uh, Entertainment Weekly article. Apparently no one on television does dark like producer-writer Chris Carter. I'm sure. Drama series Who and Will Win. Should be ER. ER was cool. I liked ER. Um, we've got a little article here to continuing on. And we've got the Smashing Pumpkins right here. Yeah. Um possible tour. Deja knows that, did you know that the teen X-Files star Julie Anthony was a major punk, punker with a pierced nose? And speaking of X-Files, the Smashing Pumpkins recently paid a visit to Vancouver set. Mitch Pelosi, who plays assistant director Skinner, says the band knows the X-Files stories better than he does. Cool. Um, move on. X-Files exposure seems excessive. Stay tuned. New X-Files to explore the dark. Diana Fowley. Never liked her. You'll find more out about that soon. There's a lot of Diana hate in here. We didn't like her because she tried to flirt with Mulder and she's not allowed to flirt with Mulder. Yeah. X-Files premiere. Uh, we've got X-Files editor's choice. Uh, so the episode that came back after the movie was called The Beginning. We've got Suzanne Modeski. Really how I liked, because I shipped her with buyers. Cool. Um, she was in the two X-Files, not X-Files, uh, Lone Gunman-like centric episodes. Ooh, nearly dropped it. <laughs> okay. And we got this awesome spread of X-Files, The New Beginning. With, witness the extraordinary season premiere. Big bit here. Another season premiere of The X-Files. The wait is over. So this was just after the movie. The hype was huge on X-Files. This is probably when they did like their best work for me, anyway. We have the uh, um, drive. He'll stop at nothing. A desperate man who can't stop moving or he'll die. Just pick up a new passenger. Agent Mulder. Drama. David and Chris Carter. 
Ooh, one of my favorite episodes. Uh, Triangle. Uh, tonight, they get carried away on a doomed voyage. The passion between Mulder and Scully is finally unstoppable. Um, is it? Really? That's not what happened. I don't remember that. <laughs> it wasn't Scully. <laughs> um, okay. Then we've got the ghost who stole Christmas. Aww. Poor Ed Asner is gone. Lily Tomlin's still alive, though. Poor Ed Asner. I missed him. He was cool. Uh, Jillian Anderson, 50 Most Beautiful People in the World, 1987. Cool. She was 28 at the time she um, was playing Scully. Wow. I don't I don't think it's Jillian had been 28, so I'm actually older than um, Jillian Anderson was when she was playing Scully. Wow. I can't believe that. X-Files for Beginners. Ooh, let's see if this is any good. If you've never watched X-Files before, apparently it's going to tell you about it. Um... Mulder and Scully are indefeatable heroes. Entire staff of the X Files, a branch of FBI, devoted to an unexplained phenomenon until his office suspiciously burned down the season finale. The movie will find them reassigned to a terrorism detail. The truth is out there, as the show's much recycled slogan, the um, suspend disbelief, might be more apt. To wit, Mulder's motivation the abduction, apparently, by aliens of his younger sister Samantha when she was eight. Dak has helplessly observed and remains haunted by it. it. Explains his brooding conspiracy or everywhere phobia. So it's not why he had sex only once in five seasons. Why do we care about that? The FBI higher ups partnered Mulder with a forensic trained Scully, hoping the nearly psychological um, pathological de um, dedication and proven society fact would debunk his work on the paranormal. That certainly backfired thanks to a couple of her own encounters, including abduction. Skeptic and believer have forged a passionate bond. Mulder and Scully trust no one but each other, and occasionally a motley crew of cyber geeks known as the Lone Gunmen. The Lone Gunmen, in addition to providing comic relief, these publishers of an underground conspiracy newsletter, The Magic Bullet, <laughs> regularly aid the agents in circumventing FBI channels. The fringe dwelling tri trio, long haired Langley, suited buyers, and Scully lusting for a wiki, <laughs> idealize Mulder, making his series even more crazier than ours. At any rate, Friends of Mulder and Scully tend to get bumped off, and their only surviving ally is Assistant Director Stick Skinner. I'm not going to read all this, because we're going to get too far into it, but that's quite cool. It does tell you a little bit about it. None of it matter. Oh, we've got the Rolling Stone cover here. The, Ro the famous Rolling Stone cover. Chris Carter, you should leave. You, sh you should just go. We don't need you here. It's alright. <laughs> you can go. Um, we've got Crycheck. Too bad Crycheck didn't come back. It would have been cool to see Crycheck back. I, I liked him a lot. I liked Nicholas Lee. He was cool. Um, we've got a hot and cold Mulder cover. I think I have that one. Um, I do have some old TV guides. We will show that in another video. They're really cool. But mostly of X-Files one. Um... So, um, for the X-Files movie, David Cody's like, I'd like to be able to audition for. <laughs> cute. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, let's see what the next one is. The Rain King. I like that one as well. Um, so we had Mulder's been abducted, infected, and discredited. Tonight he faces greatest peril ever, a woman in love. Uh, we have Morris Fletcher. Cool. Dreamland. And... Let's see, next one. Oh, here we go. Official Diana Hater. Got that from the internet. Internet! <laughs> um, tells me who was the winner. Roma Downey was the winner, because I really needed to know Touched by an Angel won then. Apparently I needed to know it, so. He has 20, 24 hours to survive, solve his own murder or die. Ready, set, go! When death looks you in the face, you're dead. Tonight, Scully gets a hard look. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. See, see how much of a nerd Melissa was? Melissa's still a nerd, but I was such a nerd as a teenager. Um, truth is no longer out there. It's up there on the big screen, apparently. Who's who in the X-Files? And we have this awesome comment from Foxtrot, I think it was called. Uh, Ombre Explosion sends Deep Space Nine careening out of control, then suddenly collides with a giant Klingon bird of prey that has been cloaked nearby, and the two hulls fuse together and tumble helplessly towards a white-hot neutron star. Those gravitational fields sing shot them back in time to the late 20th century Earth. As 
Cisco, Udo, and the Klingons survey the damage. A car slowly approaches. As the X-Files agent Mulder and Squally truth is out there, screams squeals Mulder. What I wouldn't give to be a network executive. What some of us wouldn't give to prevent it. I think Mulder should drive the car from Knight Rider. <laughs> give you a view of that in case you want to view it, see it. I like that. Crossovers. Kind of happening. Uh, the whole like 21 Jump Street Men in Black thing, that doesn't make any sense either, so why not? Why not? We can do it, apparently. I just noticed I have page numbers as well on this. We're on page 36. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Uh, so we've got, this is just all X-Files movie stuff, so some articles there, just broken up. We've also got all the bad guys as well. Ooh! This is something else I did in the library. This is copyright fraud, unfortunately. I shouldn't do this. Don't do this, kids. It is bad. Don't do this. Do not copy books. So, um, I actually copied my favorite bits. So it's like X-Files little novels um, that you could get. And they were aimed at, uh, like, children, actually. And children and teenagers. So, uh, based on the TV series. And this one was EBE, which is the first appearance of the little gunmen. So, I copied the pages. Where the lone gunmen are. Because the lone gunmen were some of my favorite characters. So, yeah. There's a couple here. Oh, David Company did win. Favorite actor in the drama. I think this was the TV Guide Awards. Another one here. Uh, Jillian Anderson didn't win. That Roma Downey. She's always winning stuff. I don't know what she's doing now. Another page. Another page. Yeah, don't do this. This is, this is bad. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I really shouldn't have done that. That's bad. That's the same. Oh no, I think I skipped the page. No, 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 no. Okay. Apparently this article is talking about whether or not Mulder seems to be Jewish. Okay. Does it matter? Okay. We've got, uh... What is this? Um... So it's only, it says, a matter of time before Fast Rising David Company parts company with x and pursues a full-time movie career. That works so well for you, David. Sorry. Should have known better. Um, here to replace the endless possibilities of virtually endless with the alumni of eight is enough. Happy days and different strokes. All sport and impressive writing resumes. <laughs> Why would we want these? But it's often the case in these situations. My thoughts turn to the Partridge family. Why? Last thing David Cassidy was performing Glitzy Vegas Act and the kind where special effects get more applause than the performers. This is a weird article, guys. The X File finally provides some answers. Wow, that's a first. Um Wow, they're gonna at last close their big alien conspiracy case in a two part broadcast on February fourteenth. That worked out for them, I'm sure. Ugh. Seriously, never does. John Stewart! Do you guys know why John Stewart's here? Because he was in a movie with Julian Anderson. And I love John Stewart. Oh, I wish you were still in The Daily Show, John Stewart. You were awesome. He was also in The Faculty, which I really, really liked. But he talks about working with Julian Anderson and playing by heart. And he said, I felt like a poor man's molder. <laughs> Completely kind of John Stewart one. There you go. Taya and David at the Golden Globe. She's very pregnant, apparently. Ooh, these are cool. These were like specialized, like little prints of the X Files. I think they're really neat. I think there's some more in here. Five years of questions, two nights of answers. I don't think there was. In ten nights, you'll get the whole story. The whole story. I don't think we've still gotten the whole story. Conspiracy episodes uncut and in order, plus exclusive behind the scenes interviews. Right next week, the conspiracy will finally be exposed. <sighs> lies. Such lies. Ooh, we have some fan art. Some pretty fan art. Oh, that's nice. Arcadia. Where they were like a married couple, and it was so cute. Oh. It's so cute. So weird has some shades of X-Files, so there's a Disney Channel show called So Weird, which I don't even remember, but it apparently was like X-Files. Um, yeah. Cassandra Spender returns. Exciting. 
And we got David Duchovny dates himself, takes TV Guide prize. And we have People Weekly summary of the X Files. And we have the Duck from Friends. And I know why it's there, guys. And it's not a very good reason. It was because on the TV Guide Awards, the duck came out at like the same time as David Duchovny or something. Something like that. Um, yeah, it wasn't a very good reason. But if you don't know where the duck is from, you're not a true fan, apparently. Not a true fan. Ah, uh, the answers you waited for are finally here. Six seasons, 125 episodes, countless lies. Tonight the conspiracy is exposed. Is it? I don't think it was. You still had multiple seasons after that. <laughs> I think this was season... Was it season five or six? I think it was season five, so... Aw, look at Lori Holden! Lori Holden, Mar Marito Corubius. Aw, Lordy, Lori Holden from Walking Dead, you were so pretty! Look how cute you were! I'm hoping to meet her at London Comic Con, she's gonna be there, so that should be cool. Um, me and my friends, we once um, dressed up as, like, her and Scully, so that was really cool. So yeah, pretended to be, um, FBI agent. The ultimate piece of the puzzle. Tonight the conspiracy comes full circle. Dave Duchovny at the TV Guide Awards where he did win. I like the TV Guide Awards. I remember recording it. It was really good. It was it was good good program. I wish they would have done more of it because it was cool. Aw, so we've got another article and then we've got this really good picture someone posted on the internet. It's a great pic apparently. We have Aqua Malone. Uh, tonight, creature living in our water just has gotten thirsty for us. For blood. <laughs> uh, today, Mulder's going to die over and over and over and over. I do like Monday. Monday's a great episode. Like Growling Hog's Day. I just love it. It's really good. I like when Mulder's like, water bed is broken and he's got to try and fix it. x Files give thanks. Answers at last. Ah, David Duchovny and his dog, Blue. More David Duchovny. I wonder how many people are actually still watching it. This is a very long book. Uh, we've got Mulder and Scully at awards. Perry Reeves. I don't know who Perry Reeves is, but he went to the premiere of Batman Forever with her. Anybody know who Perry Reeves is? David Duchovny wearing a basketball jersey. Dee Dee. Yeah. I don't know who Perry Reeves is. Anybody know? Has she been on anything else? Cool. We got Ma Mulder and Scully married. This could be the scariest X Files ever. Three nerdy amigos. That's an article about the lone gunman. Drawing my friend did of Scully. She looks cool. Uh, Dave Jacoby said, Truth is out there. He's no Michael Jordan. <laughs> of course he wasn't. Oh, the FX Files official fan club. I was part of that. I so was. It came with like a card and everything. It was so cool, guys. I don't remember what else you got, but... Oh, we lost a picture of Jillian somewhere. Oh. Cool. We've got Postmodern Prometheus Tribute the Dance. So someone's put the lyrics in and they put little pictures. Look at the quality of that printing. That is 1998 quality printing, guys. 1998 at least. Not possibly more than 1997. Um, ooh, X-Files burning questions. Let's see, is there anything good? Oh, is the cigarette smoking man Mulder's real father because Mulder once smoked a cigarette? Probably not. <laughs> He could be, but I don't think it's because Mulder once smoked a cigarette. <sighs> if the cigarette smoking man smoked so much, why did Mulder didn't even try and chase him in the parking lot during the season finale? How fast can a five pack a day guy run anyway? It's the X Files. Why ask why? <laughs> Probably not very fast. Sit, stay, kill. Tonight, it's Mulder's turn to play dead. Got Mulder and Scully Trace from The Simpsons. And Julian Anderson won something apparently. Oh, that's one of my favorite things. Garfield. The X and uh, the excess files. So 
The Federal Bureau of Ingestion. The food is here! I love that so much. It came out of like a Garfield calendar. It was cool. Um, so the walls are alive! What episode is this? I don't even know what episode this is. Mm, it's the one about the prisoner. I don't remember that one. We've got full spread of Monday. That's cool. Got, uh... We've got someone's trying to steal Scully's heart, literally. I like that one. It's the guy with the typewriter, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Got Barristow. He was in Miracle Man. <laughs> That's the only reason he's here. Has he done anything since? I don't remember him. I don't really remember him that well. Um, yeah. Oh, I like it. It's not just America's favorite pastime anymore. The Roswell Grays, written and directed by David Coveney. It's one of the good episodes. I really did like The Unnatural. It's a good episode. Fun. Oh, got to cover up my mother's old address. So we have a TV Guide cover of David Coveney. Can't show the address. Oh, and we have... It's going to be so hard to show you. There's Pendrel underneath. Poor Pendrel. I loved him. I shipped him with Scully. There we go. More David Coveney. How many more pages have we got? Ooh, quite a few. This might have to be two videos, guys. I think I'm going to leave it there and make a new video after this one because this is very, very long. I think we'll leave it at Pendrel and we'll start back and I'll show you the rest of the scrapbook afterwards because otherwise I'm going to talk for ages. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. See you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's Fangirling with Mel. I just wanted to let you know I'm doing a 100 star subscriber giveaway at the moment where you can win some really cool prizes stuff in this box including a copy of my book so if you'd like to win the stuff in this box it will be sent out internationally to whoever wins uh, you can enter my giveaway by clicking on the link below that takes you to my giveaway video uh, if you'd like to also subscribe to me you need to do that for the giveaway to enter but if you'd like to subscribe and watch more videos by me click the link below if you'd like to join me on my social media Click the links below. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you know what to do already. I've told you. I will see you guys later. Bye.